So the first card is anxiety. You're pretty stressed about something and you're feeling very vul vulnerable at this particular moment. So not feeling quite uh, yourself and not having a lot of confidence and you're very anxious about something as well. You're dealing with a fair or gray-haired man and maybe this person is the person that's causing some anxiety in your life. So in the past, you've got working extremely hard over here and you might have made a new friend that is very supportive, somebody who is helping you get through difficult situations. So going into the future, you've got gains. So moving pretty quickly into the into the future and getting away from any kind of problems. So you are uh, coming out of that phase where you are going through difficulties. And you might be dealing with a fair or gray-haired woman as well. So you've got two people over here, a gray-haired man or a gray-haired woman that you will be dealing with. And they play significant roles uh, for you. Okay, so I'm just going to have these up. Those are the energies for that week. So the main energies of the cards are the um, the Queen of uh, <laughs> Rods. Okay, so um, it looks like you know you're taking back your power. You could well be dealing with a fire sign person, but this is most likely your energy where you're taking your power and you're uh, sorting things out. You might have a new project that you're in charge of, and you're being very logical about the whole thing. Um, you're trying to um, you know get things sorted out you might be involved in a lot of communication with a lot of people as well uh with this um uh queen of rods so uh definitely taking control of the situation and making sure that everything is very organized and very um you know you you're um um dealing with a lot of people as well so you're communicating a lot with a lot of people so what's going on with you you've got the eight of rods over here and you've got the four of cups so you are trying to manifest things and make things move so if things are stuck you're trying to get that information uh to you you're looking to the past as well because you've got this old person looking to the back uh, and you're trying to bring this information to light and you're trying to make things move so you are being very proactive and trying to get things going if things are stuck and you're not listening to what anybody's got to say. If you, anybody's saying anything, you know, you're aggressively telling them to back off. And you've got your, see, this person's got their hands over their ears. So you're not listening to what anybody's suggesting at the moment. Maybe you're working to some kind of deadline over here with, with this, um, uh, eight of rods. There could be a deadline that is coming up. So you need to take control. And it seems like you are taking complete control over there, sorting things out, laying down the law and getting things going and you know it, it seems like you're giving out the orders and people are just going to have to follow so that you can get this project finished on time so in the past it looks like you've started something new you've got the full card here in this last year so you've started something new there's been a lot of information that you've been dealing with or handling and you're getting things going it's something that you never did before and you're pretty much enthusiastic about the whole thing you're learning on the job as you go and you know pretty busy as well so in the last uh, three months or so, you've got the uh, Knight of Swords over here. So this could be somebody that you're dealing with who is a bit of a difficult person. Um, you know, they're very, very well educated, very, very quick on the on the draw. Uh, you know, they they um they can be a bit aggressive as well, and they might be giving you a little bit of hassle. Uh, you know, and um, this could also be a legal situation that you could be dealing with something that's legal, and maybe it's. Uh, it could be a person or it could be some legal news or some legal case that you're having to deal with and sort it out. So, um, you know, that's got you a little bit on edge as well because the Knight of Swords tends to get people on the edge and it is something to do with legalities. So um, what's in your mind? You want to achieve everything that you, uh, you know, you want to wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups over here, but also, you know, getting help from people around you in order to achieve your goals. You might be thinking of further study as well with this Nine of Cups, but you definitely want some kind of support, uh, some kind of um, uh, person to come and help you out to achieve that goal that you want. So going into the future, you've got the uh, high priestess over here. So, um, you know, using your intuition a lot or waiting for something to come, so waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for some sort of information, something to come to light. So things are at a bit of a standstill, uh, you know, um, Maybe you're also dealing with people that are not giving you information that you want. So you're having to go out there and look for it. The um, high priestess is a person who is the keeper of secrets. So unless you ask her the right questions, she's never going to give you the answer. So maybe people are withholding information and you're having to go out there and search for it and look for it. Um, but basically, uh, with the 
High Priestess is waiting for cycles to change. Almost a divine timing at play over here. So you are waiting. And you've got the squirrel over here. So things will come to you. But, you know, after a lot of hard work. And you've got to do some in-depth research in order to find the answers or solutions to your problems. So what's going on with you? You've got some sort of decision to make over here. Uh, you know, you seem to have uh, turned your back on everybody else's suggestions and you are trying to make that decision. Maybe you're waiting for information or maybe you have that information and you just really can't make up your mind about what to do next. It's got to be a very logical decision that you make. So don't get emotionally involved with whatever the outcome is. Make sure you're thinking very clearly. Pros and cons lists is what I always say. And, uh, and then decide. Um, but, you know, review, make sure you've got that information in hand before you make that decision. Here you are waiting for that information. It looks like it's going to come to you. Here you're waiting for the information. And yeah, it looks like that information is coming to you so that you can make that decision. But make sure you have to, you have to research, uh, to find out about what to do next. Around you, there's a lot of disputes, arguments. You, you are up against a very strong rival as well somebody who's almost equally matched to you and they seem to be giving you a little bit of a, uh, a hard time of year this could also be the people that you're working with this could be family as well but there's a lot of uh, chaos uh, some kind of argument some kind of discontent going on around you with this um, uh, five of swords so what you want, you've got the, the nine of rods over here. You want to put down roots. You want stability to come in. You want growth to come in. Um, so you're waiting for that to happen. Maybe you want, that's what you want in your life. You want to be able to grow, to produce something. You want to do something that's also very technical, very scientific, and, you know, something that allows, you know, something different, something that you have never done before, and that's got a scientific edge to it as well. So you, you're planning on doing that. That might be something to do with this new project that you're doing. At the moment, you're considering all your options, and you're trying to really get yourself established in whatever you're doing. So going into the future, you've got the Nine of Swords over here, um, uh, the Justice card, and you've got the Four of Pentacles. So the Nine of Swords looks like there's like some, you know, you're very, very up anxious and scared of doing something at the moment. So there it might be something legal that is uh, possibly uh, bothering you, causing a lot of anxiety. It might be appearing to be, um, you know, something bigger than what it really is. So this insect looks like really ferocious. And this man looks extremely um, scared about him. He's on the floor. It's paralyzing, so he's even dropped his wand. So uh, there is something that is really scaring you and something that you're having to defend yourself against. And, you know, it's it's looming. It's almost, uh, you know, it's, it's almost a sense of impending doom. There's a lot of anxiety going on as well. So this might be just you being too afraid of it uh, rather than it being that bad. It might not be as bad as you think it is. Uh, so there's a lot of anxiety. That's an anxiety card going on over here. And it's really scared the life out of you, really. Uh, and now, um, you know, it, it looks like it might be a legal situation. So maybe something coming uh, that you're dealing with, some kind of legality that you're dealing with that appears to be, uh, it seems to be escalating, really. It seems to be making you very anxious and you're afraid. Of, you've got the worst possible outcome on your mind. So you've got the justice card over here. So a decision is being made at the moment. And that's what it scares you. So as... During this week, it looks like there might be some kind of decision coming through for you. It looks like somebody's weighing uh, the information and deciding on a fair judgment, maybe. Um, they're trying to make a decision about what to do, to do, and you're very worried about what that outcome of that case is going to be. So something legal coming up and some decision being made, and you're worried about that. Um, you've got the Four of Pentacles that follows over here. So um, it might have some financial implications over here. Uh, this might be something that affects uh, your money or your savings. Uh, so whatever decision is being made, it, you know, there may be um, the decision might affect you financially as well. So um, with the Four of uh, Pentacles, it's trying to hang on to finances or trying to, you know, not to have any kind of loss to keep hold of your things. Uh, so there might be uh, some kind of decision involving your finances. It might have some financial implications on you and might have an effect on your finances as well. Uh, and you're very worried about that uh, outcome of that particular case. So the first card is uh, persistence. Even though there have been many changes in your life recently, you ha may have become more persist persistent to get what you want. With perseverance and good advice, you will achieve. Do not give up. So you need to persevere and you need to persist. No matter how bad things seem, 
you need to just put one foot in front of the next and keep going uh, because this is the thing that's going to pay off. Support, you may be looking... Um, sorry. Uh, someone may be looking to you for emotional or financial support. They turn to you because of your compassion and wisdom. You may be looking for others for support too. Uh, look to those you can trust and love. So it looks like you are looking for support and love and somebody to help you. You've got this nine of cups over here. You can see this person's looking for that person's help and support in order to achieve goals. So it looks like you are looking for support or somebody around you is coming to you for support. And this is what um, you need to do. You know, you need to give that support and love and they come to you because they need it. And you do need to give it if you can. Can And somebody will give you support um, if you do need it as well. So there is somebody there to support you. And you've got the well over here. Within yourself is a wealth of information. If you know how to draw from the well within, it will bring you new, new bound, newfound skills, sorry, talents and strength. Let me read that again. Within yourself is a wealth of information. If you know how to draw from the well within, it will bring you newfound skills, talents and strengths. So they're actually saying that, uh, you know, you've got all the information and everything you need is with you within you and uh, all this talent if you bring it out you will be able to be successful so you've got everything you need to succeed and you just have to dig deep within you or just think uh, on a different um, think in a different way on how you can uh, repackage those skills and bring it out into the open and and um, you know change it around a little bit to make it look uh, you know, good as new, and you can use these skills and people will come to you and, uh, you know, you will be successful by using these skills that you have. So you have all the skills and talents that you need in order to succeed and you just have to tap into them, really. Uh, that's what they're saying. So um, the advice from these people is that you will get support if you need it. Uh, the advice from the Oracle cards is you will get support if you need it. You just need to persevere and you do have all the skills you need to succeed as well. And what's going on in the major read is you're waiting for some kind of uh, legal issue to get sorted out it looks like it will be a positive outcome the four of pentacles is not a negative card it just means like you know you may have to just watch how you spend or just uh, pay more attention uh, to your spending uh, but whatever that decision comes even if it does impact on your finances it's not going to be a dire impact it's it's going to have some impact but not uh, you know um, something that's going to be um, detrimental to you or it's not, not something that's going to destroy you, in other words. So you are facing a lot of people around you that are giving you a bit of grief, and you're waiting for this information to come. Um, you're trying to get things done, uh, you know, quickly. You're trying to make things move quickly um, according to deadlines, and it looks like, you know, you will uh, you will be able to... It's a very busy time, it seems, for you, um, and you are going to get that support that you need in order to succeed. <laughs> 